right, guys. Ian Anderson, Central Coast Disc Golf. We got some 2018 Coast Movie Swine Classic Final Nine. Joining me for commentary is the one and only Tyler Brickley. Yeah, hey guys, what's up? Thanks for coming on, man. Can I just say a couple things here before we get started? Yeah. I'm very excited to be here. I'm a huge, I'm probably your biggest fan, Ian. Uh -huh. uh, I've watched like six or seven of your videos in the last couple of weeks, and I think they're great. Um, but I'm also excited to be here because uh, I'm excited for you. And, and what this means for your channel to have me on. So congrats in advance for that, mate. <laughs> love it, dude, love it. It looks like Nico LaCastro won the regulation play and now we're moving into the final nine. Um, the rules are a little bit different. Oh, tell us about uh, that. So in Thailand, in a final nine, um, they actually only count OBs. They don't count just regular strokes. Well, what do you mean by, by OBs exactly? Um, exactly, I mean that they count like when a player might, you know, like throw his hands up in the air or, or punch his disc bag, you know, or just like any kind of general outburst. Um, oh, okay. Is, so that's the that's the OB that they're counting. Not like, yeah, you might be confused, not like a traditional American air to bounds. This uh -huh. is an outburst, so it's those kind of OBs. And listen, this guy right here, he's going to give all of these players a run for their money. I'm telling you that right now is the king of OB. That he is. That was Nico LeCaster. We got Greg Barsby with a pretty beautiful shot. Yeah, that was perfect. Not not in uh, OB range. No, no. And Tyler, you might recognize this guy, Disc Maniac Nathan. Yeah, a good old NATO, Disc Maniac Nathan. And here's Germo. Germo, eh? Let's see what he's got for us. Germ also a pretty good representative of OBs, you know, when he plays anywhere, he's going to have a few outbursts. <laughs> and uh, Philo, no stranger to the OB as well. And yeah, he didn't have one there. Well, I'm actually going to play a little sound effect whenever one happens. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, okay, so did you hear that sound right there? I got it, yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the uh, announcement. Okay. Oh. And, okay, so right out of the gate, we got two OBs. And just like a little, you know, it's not much of one. And maybe a third one here. Hang on. Oh, this has got to be three for three. Uh, yeah, probably. Well, not if he makes it. Yeah, uh, I guess not. Calm, cool, and collected when they go in, right? Yeah. yeah. So what we're looking for is anything out of the normal, um, you know, pace of play. Like where you, you set up your shot, you take your shot, you go to your next shot, you know. Anything outside of that where they're going to be all, yeah, right here. Hang on. <laughs> oh, hey. No, got away Go with it? No, good on Germo. Do you see how he just turned around? He just went right to his next shot. He didn't react. Okay, okay. He didn't, he didn't look up at the sky and blame God or anything. <laughs> we'll give it to him. Staying clean through hole one. Philo, careful. Now we're good. Is it Stableford scoring or is it traditional golf scoring where high is good or is high bad? Now high is bad, high's bad. Um, okay. so you're going to want to not have any OBs. Okay. Uh, so right out of the gate, we had Nate and Philo um, picking up an OB on a very short... I mean, you wouldn't expect any OBs on a hole that's under 200 feet. I mean, gosh. But you still got a putt on them, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Holt. Holt 2, guys, is uh, pretty much dead straight with a late right finish and a really, really tough little jungle here to, to get through at the end with a, a termite mount, Tyler. Yeah, what's that about? We, I mean, I see a lot of those down under. I didn't know there was any Thai termites. Thai mites. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Somebody write that down. <laughs> I think that's actually the, the, the official species. Thai mites. Thai mites, yeah. That was Nico. Nico. Oh. And he didn't freak out. That's okay. great. Okay. Uh, Barsby. Oh, interloper. Oh, it's a chicken. <laughs> yeah, we got a rooster. <laughs> no, I mean, the, I mean the chicken, not the guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at everybody clapping for him like he's just done something amazing. <laughs> he didn't, like, m like face down a pit bull or anything. I mean, it was a little three-ounce chicken. That's probably the meanest thing on this island, though, if you think about it. <laughs> Maybe. Not a bad now, shot from Greg there. Oh, well, that's actually kind of ironic because that's uh, traditional, like an American out-of-bounds. That's right. It's not a Thai OB. Um which is the only thing we're counting, just for the record. See, there's a little outburst, a little clap uh -huh. from NATO. Germ. Yeah, that one was 
Okay, there oh, it is. I was going to oh. say that one was on the bubble. I was yeah. just waiting for the call, but yeah, he got it with that, that clap kind of sealed the deal. And Philo with the forehand. Uh, low expectations, at least, so hopefully he can keep it clean here. Yeah, probably not going to ever see an OB from Philo when he throws a forehand. Uh, the bar is very low there. Yeah. The backhand, though. The man has expectations. Oh, got the, got the uh, time, uh, time might mound. And this maniac? Oh. Mm. oh, they say send it. Maybe se send it back to the mainland because of how far past it went. Ooh. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there yep. it is. Yep. You can't blame him on that one, though, you know? No, I feel really bad. I yeah. mean, he's probably got a damaged disc. Are there, like, nails on the top of the basket or something? Yeah, I think they got spikes up there. Wow, that's harsh. Ward off predators. <laughs> well, it's like, I mean, there's a bunch of freaking time whites like nine <laughs> feet away. they got to have some defense. Ah, oh, Philo. Oh, Man, Philo. he is racking them up on he, this hole. He really is. Oh. Okay. That, one, that one's stuck for Nate, thankfully. Mm-hmm. And here we, we need to see our first big outburst from Nico. Oh, nah, gonna, well, if he keeps making them, we're not going to see him. 100%. Hmm. Well, we'll see him soon enough. Yes, I mean it's pretty much guaranteed, right? Look at this little American OB to the to the Thai OB or the Toby. Let's see if he gets it. He's gonna get an OB OB. Yeah. You know, usually they no. go together though. But Greg, yeah, that, yeah, he, kept, right? he kept it together. You know, yeah. he didn't take the Thai OB. Yeah, good on Greg. Oh, he's actually usually pretty calm. Yeah, he is. Oh man! Again, Philo. Yeah, Philo made it, Ooh. but he still punched the ground. Dang. Um. They don't actually do their scoring system in uh, any other country, but the, you know, people of Thailand are very, very stoic, very reserved. They are, uh, actually. You know, pretty well mannered overall. So yeah. they're going to definitely penalise us, Americans and others who come in and just thrashing around and stomping and doing whatever else we're doing. Yep. And uh, Tyler, hole three, we have an island hole. I, I see OBs and OBs galore coming up here. Mm hmm. That's kind of a oh, look at this. Yeah, the, ca the ca cameraman's trying to find the players. He's <laughs> like, I know they, I know I saw them here somewhere. One of them had long hair and a hat. There he is. They got now him. we can back to the action. Our reigning world champ, Greg Barsby. Oh, and that's why right there. Yep, super clean. Great shot, Nathan. Oh my. Uh, yeah, it's, look at him holding his hands up. He looked like. Gumby, he came through with both hands like <laughs> in a in a claymation pose. Nate's uh, Nate's forehand dominant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And uh, yeah, he's yelling. Yeah, there it is. He says hit a turkey. You know, we just we make ourselves look like turkeys. You know, to the to the people of this island when we <laughs> yell like that. Philo, great shot, Mister Smooth. Yeah. And Germ uh, from the drop zone, trying to save par here. Now we didn't see. Uh, well, <laughs> we were not seeing. Also, we didn't see Nico's drive. The editor thought um, Jeremy's oh, upshot was so bad they cut it out. Oh no! Nathan with a little clap, just enough to get him an OB. He went. He went real OB as well on that upshot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, they don't even need to worry about stroke. I mean, Nico's already won, right? This whole thing is just a glory round. Yeah. Yeah. Just put yeah. on a, a Zen clinic. Mm-hmm. Nico cleaning up. I get Nico. Clean through three. Yeah, I we're going to have to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, we didn't see his drive. It may have even been cut out of the coverage because it was like such a huge OB. So uh, oh. we can't penalize him. I mean, we, we got to say he's innocent until proven guilty. Truth. But we got three, three, and three for NATO, Germa, and Philo through uh, the first few holes. Three turkeys right there. Uh, Barsby and Nico staying clean, and we're on to hole four, our first par four. A uh, big dogleg right OB. Uh, there's American OB left and right the whole mm -hmm. way down, as well as long once you get down to the pin. Um, mm -hmm. A real tough one. We get some nasty kicks. I could potentially see some, uh, some tie OBs, Tyler. You know, it's a good thing we're not actually counting strokes at this point. I mean, none of these players are really lighting up this course. Um, yeah, and it's, not that, it's not that long. I'm not going to say they're playing terrible uh but would you <laughs> not to their face I mean, 
Well, I, I'd hope to be uh, friends with them at some point, so I'd like to not go on the record as saying that, but I mean, somebody needs to, because they are all playing pretty bad from an American point of view. Nico playing well from a tie one, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, which is, what, I mean, what yeah, matters? it's commendable. Yeah, I think that looked good, too. Staying clean, I didn't hear a noise. Uh, Barsby going forehand. Yeah, he's known to do that. Yep. He's got a real punchy, you know, form when it comes out. It's a real laser beam, though, most of the time. We're yeah, going to see a rock turnover, probably, or something from Philo. You called it. Hopefully they didn't cut roll. Looks like it's sat. People are clapping. That's good. Yeah, they don't know. These people are, like, really hungus for aces and good shots. I mean, they're clapping at things that are really bad for the most part from what I've seen <laughs> in the coverage so far. I mean, what? I'm not saying like anything bad about sure Philo's shot was good there, but I feel like they're just, maybe the fans are a little over eager. I always feel like that watching European tournaments too. They're, they're cl they clap, clap for everything. Um, Americans really? very choosy with our clapping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, second shot here for Nate. We'll call that capitalism at its finest. Oh, that's good. That's good. I think Nate got knocked down there. Yeah, he got a brancher. Jim, Jimmo says it's something you don't see every day. I mean, it's yeah, a guy. That's true. Oh, dude on a moped. <laughs> There's a, a Thai guy on a on a motorcycle. Uh, I think that's probably the only existing member of the Thailand chapter of the Hells Angels. <laughs> and he's, he's just looking for more members. So he drives around. He just wanders. Wow. Amazing. Thread the needle. Look at this. this he's still, still just driving, driving around. around. <laughs> <laughs> That's a safety hazard for everybody. He could get Man. hit with a disc. We could get hit with a motorcycle. Man, was, when I was in Thailand, I saw a family of five and three monkeys on a moped. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> this sounds like the beginning of a great joke. <laughs> it does. does it? I wish it went so somewhere. a family of five and three monkeys <laughs> drive into a bar on a moped. Oh, trunked it. Oh, Does it oh, work? No. no, he missed it. Oh, nice. Barsby staying clean in, in more ways than one. Yeah, and see, that was, we might want to specify too, that was a positive outburst. I mean, those have happened, you know, where guys are saying, mm -hmm. you know, get right, hook up, you know, get off that tree. Yeah. Those aren't like bringing the mood down sort of OBs. Those are the ones that it, they're going to get called for. Sure, that's fair. Uh, Nathan leaving that upshot a little bit short. Uh, file with a long look. Yeah, he's going from probably 45. Never yep. Oh, yep. Yep. See, that's the kind of, you know, just kind of mm -hmm. yelling at it. Everybody else in the group is a little bit bummed. Nate with a nice putt. Yep, good putt. He is known to do that. He's got that sort of, you know, Dave Dunner pace like snake strike. He does. Putt, you know, just straight in there. It's good when the basket's in the way, but not when he misses. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, Germ cleans up nicely as well. No OBs there. And uh, Nico. And still no OBs for Nico. You know, maybe he spent his time in Thailand kind of just, you know, chilling. It's working. <laughs> maybe. You know? Maybe he could bring some of that energy back to some of his tournaments here in the States. Yeah. If, if only he could get a $5 massage in the States. We, we got to be... See, now Philo actually picks up a lot of his OBs, like within four or five feet of the basket. He does. You know, that's where he really has to... You got to watch out. Yep. Kind of holds on to that last shot. Yeah. And he's he's in the uh, the lead... Of, of losing right now. What would you call that? <laughs> he's like, like last he's actually place, dead last. Yes. Yeah, he's not in the league. He's got the most OBs um, as of right now, but Jermo and uh, NATO are right behind him. Yep, they're within striking distance. Uh, we are on hole five, par four. Yep. Uh, either lay up or try to, to run that OB uh, kind of channel deal. All right, and here goes Nico. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. See, it was borderline, but I'm not going to give it to him. He was just saying, "Oh, I just threw it ob." You know, he's not saying like, like, "Oh, I didn't deserve to do that." He was just talking to his drive. Yeah, just saying what happened, right? Yeah, so he's still clean. Yeah, uh, Barsby, a nice drive as well, and Jim. Jim's got like a uh, target on his back. Which is probably fine on a disc golf course. I wouldn't advise that, like maybe going into war, or like a, any 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 place where there's gunfire or archery or anything. Yeah, really not a good idea. Philo. Oh, nice kiss forward off that palm tree. 
that'll play. And I didn't hear a noise. So that's a good thing. Yeah. And Nathan, low but powerful. He's just playing for position there. Yeah. Um, it, up. There's kind of an uh, like an American LB trench right in the middle of this fairway to the green. They got a throw over. Is that yeah. Right? Yeah. That long grass. You can kind of see in between the two short grasses. All OB. He put a move on that one. Ooh. That was very good. Oh, look at these. Look at these guys. I'm going to go back, Ian, just a few seconds. Uh-huh. Watch when Nate throws this shot, the people in the far background. Did you see them clapping? I missed it. <laughs> Look at this. They're like, hey, that was an amazing shot, mate, but I can't really force up a, a whole clap right now. I'm just going to slap the outside of my thigh. I think he had a beer in his hand. Because <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> I mean, it was worth a clap for crying out loud. <laughs> a horror leg slap, I guess, if you got yeah. a beer. Oh, everybody's excited about the, the die pattern yeah. on uh, Philo's disc there. And maybe the shot, I don't know. Eh, you never know. Uh, Barsby's second. Absolute laser beam. Great. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful shot. These guys are putting on an approach clinic. Oh, Nico really was testing that traditional OB. He's got the forced over Anheuser that he's known for, and this is why he's known for it. That was picture perfect. Yeah, I don't see a, a tie OB coming his way no. with, with that short of a putt, you know. Did Germ actually, did he go OB, or is he just hugged up right next to it? I think he might have just hugged it. Uh, this one's got maybe a little too much glide. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a little bit. It's in uh, big Germo putting range for sure, though. Yep. Or, well, I guess we're about to find out. We will. Yeah, no problem. Nah, how's it going? Oh, oh man. What it's an un about? unforced error for sure. I mean, yeah, look at yeah. him. He's thinking right now, it actually was a good thing that it went into the chains and I reacted the opposite of how I should. He's kind of just chilling over there. Yeah, he's thinking through his life choices. <laughs> If he could hit pause and uh, rewind 10 seconds, as we just did a minute ago, he uh, surely would. Wild. These guys, these fans calling out the players' names. It's helpful. <laughs> like maybe we had forgotten. <laughs> Absolutely. We got a close race between uh, Nate, Gemma, and Philo, but Greg and Nico were just absolutely rock solid through the first five holes zen masters man absolutely yeah, absolutely <laughs> we're uh, looking at hole six guys par three two sixteen uh it's pretty straight with a slight left finish or you can just start up the gut one of the two but again right there and in, in no reason for outbursts you know and this is yeah absolutely i mean it's 216 feet 66 meters how many times out of 10 is ian anderson gonna birdie this hole oh six easily yeah, for sh uh, yeah, absolutely. I was thinking <laughs> six or maybe two or three, you know, but definitely up there. Yeah, right. And Greg has thrown the perfect um, backhand line with a sidearm. <laughs> did he get a, so, did he get a, I heard a, a noise there. Did he get one? Yeah, he did. That one was actually um, pretty controversial. I remember the uh, review board just saying they wanted to give him one at this point. Because oh. he absolutely hadn't had one yet, so they were really looking. Uh, it's not a fair system. Oh, there's a booth review on that one, huh? Yeah, no, there's actually an international committee oh. um, who watches all the footage and um, and assesses the penalties. It's it's got a, it's got UC Maresma, um, <laughs> Simon Lazot. Um, there's uh, Corey Mural and me are okay. all on it. All right. Yeah, so we got somebody from everywhere, everywhere that's important anyway. That plays. Uh, Philo with a long look to avoid no B here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They, oh. No, it's not oh. happening. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yep. Not, they just, not none of them have enough spin. You know, nope. they're not high enough. And mm -hmm. that was the exact opposite. But Barsby's any right there, you know? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Germ with a nice putt coming back from that line. Oh, he oh. got, oh, he got uh, what? one. Yeah, you know, he said, oh, in G, I finally got yeah. one. And it was just, yeah. Uh, it's just extra, you know? It's just, yeah. it's not necessary for play. I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of putting yourself down a little bit, you know? Yeah. I yeah. don't call the, uh, the, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and NATO. See, I mean, like I said, it's not a black man. and white system. Man, the committee just, is harsh. 
<laughs> he just got one you guys for a little ruthless. footfall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I think he yeah, even just, laughed, man. Like, <laughs> so Greg's on the board now, and oh, wow. uh, NATO's at four. We got Germo at five and Philo at five. Um, and the talk of the town, Nico Lecastro, with uh, only three holes remaining, does not have any outbursts on the card. I mean, pretty much everyone expected that, though, so it's... Oh, right, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you watch around with Nico in it, it's pretty surprising to see him, you know, yeah. deviate from just his standard, like, Stonewall Jackson sort yeah. of a, you know, demeanor. Yeah, we're just seeing the, the norm. Absolutely. Uh, we're looking at a whole seven guys here. Uh, you play a turnover backhand or a forehand, a lot of trees, and it's uh, it's right there. That's a great shot. Now, uh, maybe not quite high enough. Okay, it's down there. Um, but still very good. And that is not very good. That is very bad. Oh. Yeah, there's no reason to be 70 feet away without hitting a tree on a 310-foot <laughs> hole. <laughs> not wrong, sir. That one's not... Uh -oh. oh, man. Yeah. American OB. Yeah. Uh, Barsby. Greg's got a little target on his back as well. No, he does, huh? Oh, got it. He didn't get one and from the S, now, huh? apparently, he oh. did not get an OB. I guess it's a, I, it's a positive affirmation. You know, I might be uh, due for a call to the committee that assess these penalties after this round. It yeah. seems like they've got a little bit of the formula off. Yeah. And that yeah. one must have just disintegrated or something. I don't see it. Didn't see it down. I think these guys worked the uh, NFC Championship game. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. That's actually bad play right there. Greg's trying Whoa. to knock a monkey out of that palm tree. <laughs> Almost got it. He might not get invited back. The uh, locals are not going to appreciate that one. Oh. We're okay, but that's in OB round. And I mean Thai OB. To it's in Toby range for sure. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep, yeah, and... Oh, oh. <laughs> that was just the tiniest little clapper. Just the clap, eh? But he got it. Wow. And yes, yes. No! Oh! What? He eh, just gave it an eh, eh, you know? Can't make them all, I guess, you know? Who is possessed Nico <laughs> Castro for this last round? Oh, there's Philo. <laughs> Got him. Of course, you know, that's Philo, but Nico just had a terrible spit out and he turned around and he just shrugged it off. <laughs> Philo actually got two there. Did he double up right there? It eh? kept, it kept going, you know, it was too long. <laughs> but Nico, it, every single time, every single time, if I was a betting man, yeah. which I am, I uh, would have lost a lot of money that he would have uh, freaked out on that one. It was even a pretty good putt, kind of chained out, you know? Yep. He had right, every, exactly. every right to out OB. Yeah. But he, he didn't. He kept it with himself. Do you think maybe, like, right before the round, Nico had some, like, a dental procedure or something? Like, where maybe he didn't want to feel the pain, and so he asked for the uh, nitrous? Something, You man. know, where, like, the laughing gas or whatever you call it, where he maybe was coming into this round a little more chilled than normal? Either that or a great Thai massage, man. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Philo. Pulling away here in a way you yeah, don't want to. I'm going to say Philo's out of it, um, but even including, I, I think German NATO are out of it as well. Um, I could see Nico getting a four or five on any given hole. True, but, true. But not, but not Greg. No. So at this point, I think it's a two-horse two horse race between uh, Nico and Greg, these last two holes. Yeah. This is kind of important who wins and also who loses, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. <laughs> yeah, the loser actually doesn't get invited back. <laughs> They kick him it's off the a, island. It's incredibly harsh. Yeah, it's not a popular system at all. <laughs> that was Nico with a beautiful drive. Absolutely. This Picture perfect. It was. Oh. Yeah, not picture. Per well, actually, that's fine. It's only it's only 65 meters, so it's like, how could you go wrong? Yep. My buddy Zach always says, turn to a forehand when it needs to, but that, that one did not. Why does he say that? Well, when it's going the wrong way. You want it to go the other way. Yeah. Yeah, no, not so much. This guy sounds like a real weirdy. <laughs> you need to get better friends, mate. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, are you doing anything after this? I thought maybe we could, like, hang out. Let's do it, buddy. Well, These guys are all putting it right on the pin. They are. Philo? Ah, uh, that's a Philo shot right there. That is. That's beautiful. I really just can't see any more bees on this hole for him. No. No. Ooh. 
Yeah, grabbed the catch. chain. Yeah, yeah the <laughs> chain kind of whistled at that disc on its way by and said, hey, girl, what are you doing? Come on into the basket. Fell right for it. Germ with a nice putt, Nico. A tree here might do it. Yeah, just just trunk it right into the, <laughs> yeah. right into the middle of that tree, <laughs> and then just lose it. Yeah, okay. Uh, nah. My version was more fun. <laughs> Buddha Nico has no worries with that. <laughs> Maybe he revisited the reclining Buddha. You ever seen that thing? No, I don't know what that is. Is that in like a furniture store somewhere in Thailand <laughs> or something? It's this goes crazy like a uh, museum, man. It's like it's giant. It's, it's a Buddha oh, it's, that's like laying down. It's hanging oh, out. I thought that was like a model of Lazy Boy. <laughs> They're probably working it, on it. A uh, hole nine. Our, our last hole here. Um, scores are tight. And we got 327 feet to go here. That's a dog leg left. A uh, low ceiling skip shot. So it's it's anybody's game. Because Nico's at zero. And Grego was at one. Yep. Uh, and Nico could get a two. I mean, he could get that in one shot. You know, it wouldn't take him the whole entire hole. Yeah. Um, so we don't, I don't know. It's pretty intense. That it is. We'll see how it shakes out. Nico's going to do something crazy here. He's looking up. He's wiping. He's bobbling his feet. He's wiping again. Oh. He's bubble, bubble, bubble. Oh, he's, he's run, run, run. And rah! Oh, my. Okay. Huh. I have no idea. Ah. Eh. Not exciting. Mm. <laughs> it almost <laughs> was if it worked. <laughs> if you could look at that shot from the side, how it went all the way up and then came straight down that would actually be like a line graph of my excitement level watching the shot <laughs> accurate Ooh, that was exciting though a little squeaker from nato all the way through that line went up all the way through that shot oh we got a thumber oh nice come Jer on get it get it Ooh, i don't see it white on They're yelling white. They're yelling oh my goodness it's what we call uh, too little, too late, but still fun for the fans. Yeah, we got a forehand roller from Barsby here. I dig it. Yeah, Grego knows he's probably uh, not going to improve on that shot, so he's just putting something in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Took a reverse skip off the berm there underneath that tree. Mm -hmm. Mr. Barsby. Okay, got to keep it together, Greg. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh! oh. Crap. Uh, just at the end there. <sighs> well, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the the <laughs> Philo the show guy. continues, but man, Greg, that was really a bad mistake. Oh, Philo got two. <laughs> again? Yeah, again. <laughs> <laughs> Nico? But Greg, now Greg's up to two, and, and Nico's 15 feet away, so I'm not going to lie and say I wouldn't love to see Nico just absolutely explode. <laughs> And do something crazy, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, Ooh. Stays clean, though. Yeah. So that's, that's going to be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and another clapping Toby for NATO right here at the end. Oh, man, the claps have gotten Nate today. Yeah, he needs to put some gloves on or something. Yeah. You know, so that maybe the refs don't call those as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can hear him. It's a no doubter, you know. Mm hmm. Uh, German with a nice putt to finish out. As will this maniac Nathan. So, I don't know. I've got a lot of emotions swirling around in me right now, Ian. Okay. Um, there's a lot of confusion, mainly. Like, I don't know what I'm witnessing, but I think I'm about to see Nico LaCastro do an entire Thailand Final Nine without a single OB. That's what you saw. That's what I saw. I don't think that the betting man would have uh, and picked him for the favorite, but no. it happened. He would have lost a lot of whatever the currency is in Thailand's. Bots. Bots? Yeah, B-A-H-T. Yeah. And so he, now he's won in regulation, and he's also won the final nine. Nice. And he's a little half-hearted hug to Nathan. You see, he's a real hug. You know, body language doesn't lie. He likes this guy. <laughs> There's a belt. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm watching there. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Nico Castro is your winner. And good on him. I mean, uh, we're making fun of him, but you can't fault a guy for, for keeping his cool. Yeah. You know? 
I tell you, it's man. commendable. Oh, that was fun. Thanks for coming on, Tyler. I really appreciate it, man. It was fun. I, I mean, absolutely. I'm probably going to have to charge more than $9,000 to do it next time, but we, we can talk about that. You know, we'll message maybe more privately than on here right now. Oh, well, that's fair. That's fair. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for watching this one, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Okay, are we done? Yep, yep. Stop recording right now. Okay, so it's off. Good. Well, that was absolutely the suckiest thing that I've ever done in my life. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a single good thing in that whole piece of crap. Do you agree? Oh, you're not wrong at all, man. It was terrible. Ugh. But I mean, I don't want to do it again. No, just 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 put this up. It's fine. Uh, they don't deserve, you know, that kind of effort. They're not even paying for it, you know. Oh, actually, I would like to try and manipulate some money out of your fans. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I've got a little video to play. Um, would you mind if I put that at the end of this round? Yeah, go for it. Okay, I'm just going to play that right now. I'll talk to you later, Eden. Peace. You know, it seems like just yesterday that I made my first disc golf commentary video, but in fact, it was multiple weeks ago. I allowed Ian Anderson at Central. I allowed Ian Anderson at Central Coast Disc Golf to have my content, which I think he'll be the first to tell you was a huge boost for his brand. A uh, huge boost? Eh, it's been nice. I mean, Kyle's great, honestly. Really. Oh, I mean, Ty Tyler. Tyler's fantastic. So now I've become a household name in disc golf, and players everywhere are talking about my videos. I'm the disc golf guy, and this is my video blog. One thing I'm not talking about is Tyler Brickley. Tyler, who? Hey, you know who Tyler Brickley is? Sounds dumb. Who? I have no idea who you're talking about. Who is Tyler Brickley? Tyler who? Oh no, Brickley. Huh. Yeah, who's this guy? Tyler who? Look, I literally have no idea who that guy is. 400 followers. Hmm. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to start a Patreon and take this thing to the next level. And speaking of levels, well, what the heck, Ryan? There are multiple tiers you can sign up for if you want to invest in quality disc golf comedy. Now, keep in mind, mates, I'm going to be filthy rich soon enough from the millions of YouTube views that we're going to get together, all right? I'll be lining my jandals with $100 bills. I'll have more money than I can stuff in a kangaroo's pouch. But your support will help me get the Big Macs and the energy drinks I need to make this content in the meantime. Thank you very much. Ryan, it's really bad, mate. Now, consider a different sport, buddy. No, I'm not going to send a video for him. I've got way better things to do with my time. Y'all can start the drum circle without me. I'll be right in.